everybody, Madam Roy back once again, back to you on Friday, this is October 11th of 2019, and today is another big weigh-in. Uh, it's been a week, and I've been really good on my diet, slash lifestyle change, and I'm going to go downstairs and get on the scale and see if I've made any progress towards my ultimate goal of 200 pounds. I'm uh, cautiously optimistic. Let's just go down and see what the scale says. Talk to you guys in a minute. <laughs> All right, everybody, being cautiously optimistic, let's see what she says. Wow, that is disappointing. Even accounting for the heavy clothes I have on right now, it says 206, so that means I'm probably still about 205. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, we'll have to keep going at it. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, tubers, uh, it's about 930. Um, a little disappointing. Uh, without my clothes, I'm still at the 204-pound mark, but it is what it is. I'm doing what I need to do. I think it's just going to take some more time for my body to absorb some of the loose skin. And I'll get down to 200 pounds soon enough. I have a job to do this morning. And then later on this afternoon, Dad and I have planned to go look at a GMC Yukon XL. Now, I have actually decided to sell the van. As a matter of fact, Dad is going to be buying it from me. I'm not going to list, give you guys any prices or anything. But Dad is going to be purchasing my 2010 Chrysler Town & Country, and I am going to be looking at a, right now it's a 2005 GMC Yukon XL, not the Denali, the Yukon XL, so not sure how that's going to go, it's at a dealership, it's got, it's at a really good price right now, so I'm cautiously optimistic, I want to see if there's anything that it really needs, it's in really nice shape, um, take some video of it when I get down there, honestly, it'll probably be the next time you guys see me, because I got a lot to do before then, I hope you guys are doing well on your lifestyle change. Make sure you keep up with it. Don't let it go because it is worth it in the end. You will feel so much better. And I'll talk to everybody on the flip side. All right, tubers, heading over to my first job for the day. It's a beautiful day here in Virginia. We are sitting at about 65 degrees. The coolest day to record of this particular fall season unbelievable it took this long october what did we say it was the 11th to get down to the 60s uh before today the lowest we saw during the day was maybe 75 and very humid but the rain is over it is sunny not a cloud in the sky and it is nice and cool this is the perfect weather to get out there get your exercising in get your bike rides in your walks whatever whatever uh, tickles your fancy as the British say um, but I'm heading over to my first job nothing super uh, exciting but you know got to work got to make that living um, one thing I did want to mention and I did mention this in one of the live streams yesterday I am getting a donation for the channel um, it should be coming in the next day or two. Actually, I think it might be coming today if it's not delayed. Um, it, I will tell you right now that it is technology related, but that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say who it's from. I'm going to save that for the unboxing. We're going to think of something really special to do with this donation. But I'm going to go ahead and pause the vlog because I really don't like driving and vlogging at the same time. I know there are a lot of people out there that can multitask. I am not one of them. I am absolutely dreadful at multitasking, so let me go ahead and pause this vlog. We'll see what the rest of the day brings, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, so this is it. My latest acquisition, a 2005 GMC Yukon Denali. Picked this up uh, today from a dealership, and we'll have to see. It seems to be in pretty decent shape. Got a few scratches and dings and things but nothing major paints all good on this side tailgate looks good everything there is in uh, in good shape this side it's going to need to have a uh, a little bit of repair done you can see at one point it had some uh, body work done here but that looks like that's all been taken care of i just got to get that painted 
I'm going to just do a preliminary here, and then we'll go ahead and do a uh, full review of this once I get it on the road. Go ahead and open it up here. You can see the inside's pretty clean. Got your typical headliner issue. I'll have to go ahead and just glue that back on. That's that's no real big deal there. That side, it's doing it too. Everything else, the headliner is pretty decent, except for, of course, the... Um, the moonroof, but I never use that anyway. Everything there looks pretty good. Got the rear AC, um, got the headlight, eh, what do you call it, the uh, dome lights there. Um, it does have the upgraded Bose stereo system in here. It's got uh, plenty of storage spaces. It's got the six disc CD changer. Haven't tried any of that yet. Little cubby holders and things. Plenty of storage space here. Driver's seat is in really nice shape, actually, for its age. Definitely could use a cleaning. You know, your typical General Motors um, trim pieces like that one I'll have to re-fix there. But for what I paid for it, it's actually a really, really good deal. You got the mirrors here. Whoop. Hello, hello, hello. This is a little loose. I'll have to tighten that up. Probably just a couple of screws up there. You know, overall, it's not in bad shape for the year. Again, it's a 2005. And a couple little um, scratches and things here. Nothing nothing too major. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, clean here for the most part. But I don't want to show you guys too, too much of it yet because we're going to have to wait until we get ready to do the full review. I must say the carpets are immaculate in this thing. Uh, that, not so much. Again, has to be cleaned. Um, I'll have to replace these. Uh, this does not work anymore to pull these back, so I'll have to go ahead and replace those. That shouldn't be a big deal. can get those knobs online. But other than that, she is in really, really good shape. Again, especially for the year and what I paid for it. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right key. Had to find the right key. But really nice. I love the front of these. I just love the way this grill looks. It is so pretty. Got a few little dings I noticed up here. Again, nothing super, super bad. A couple little scrape marks, but that stuff should buff out just fine. I mean, it's nothing, nothing major at all. You know, a little curbed somebody must have curbed it at some point which yeah we all do that eventually i know i've done it before but yeah she's a nice uh, little denali for the price i paid for it i really can't complain all right tubers i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i'm probably gonna make this a two-day vlog gonna start working on this tomorrow but right now i have to get in and eat i am getting very hungry so thank you guys for liking and subscribing probably gonna pick this up tomorrow when we get more daylight all right everybody it's the next day 5 10 a.m wasn't able to sleep very well last night you could probably hear my allergies are going crazy so i figured i'd get up maybe get some work done but as you can see i have something bugging me baxter Baxter, what you doing, bud? Gonna come say hi? Hi, buddy. <laughs> it's unusual for him to be uh, bugging me this early in the morning, but uh, I guess he probably wants his treats. Is that what you want, bud? You gonna go in your box? What you want, Kit Kit? We're going to get going today. we got quite a bit to do. A lot of garage sales to go to today. I want to do some cleaning on the GMC later. So, going to see what the rest day brings. But for right now, just going to pet Mr. Baxter. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Isn't that cute? All right, everybody. I'm back home. It is 9.05 uh the community sale here is kind of a bust i'm gonna go out one more time see if i can find anything but there really wasn't that much to be had i got a few little things and i will show you guys that a little bit later um when i do the ultimate community garage sale haul i did get a few interesting items today i'm actually wearing one right now if you see this i'm wearing a uh, sweater that is because it is really, really cold here today. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a temperature update 
Um, this morning it was 53 degrees, and I know my buddy Tyler said where he is, it was like in the 30s. It is 59 now, so I definitely needed to have some type of protection. I didn't have a jacket or anything, so I gave three bucks for this. I actually got two of them. I got a gray one and then a tan colored one, which I'll show you guys when I get to do the garage sale haul video later. Let me go ahead and pause this. I'm going to have to get a little something to eat, and then I'm probably going to take my bike out again and see what else I can find. We'll see what the rest day brings us, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, Tuber, so a little update on the Yukon. Um, I think I figured out what was going on with the traction control system and the tire pressure sensor. Apparently, the tire gauge that we were using was faulty, and these were really low. This one had maybe... Uh, 15 to 20 pounds of pressure. The other one had about 10. And I think that's why the TPF, TPMS system was coming on. And as I see it already, I think this is lost air. So I have a hunch we're going to need to do tires and probably tubes, or I'm sorry, tires and tubes, tires at the very least on this, which is no big deal. I fully expect to have to put some kind of money into it. And tires are really important when you're going down the road. So let's go ahead. We'll do a uh, cold start it has been started but it didn't run for very long go ahead and see if we're getting any um any errors from the tpms system starts up no problem service tire monitor comes up now that's because the right uh passenger sensor is not functioning for whatever reason i'm not sure probably just went bad let me see if I can get in here, find the tire pressure. These things are always a pain. There we go. Tire pressure. So we got 43 in the left front. We have 44 in the right rear. Uh, left rear is nothing because that sensor is not working. And the right rear is 42. So we're at least good for the time being. Um, other than that, there are no warning lights to be had on this thing at all. Uh, I figured out that is the trans temperature right there. And if you guys are curious about the mileage on this, ch -ch -ch, odometer is 179, 424. So about 179,000 miles, which really is not a lot for this vehicle. And it is in good shape for the most part. Um, just a few little things like a little bit of... Um, peeling on the uh, steering wheel and the only headliner issue that I really have is very typical for these um, the glue just comes undone here and it actually starts to um, recede so I'm gonna have dad go ahead and just glue this back it's not in like a really obvious place either so that should fix up just fine but the rest of the headliner and everything is in really really good shape and of course that side it's doing the same thing so a little bit more cleaning uh, some work I'll go ahead and get this registered Monday, and uh, we'll take it out for a test drive. Hopefully everything is good to go. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, we're here at Freddy's. We're getting our weekly treat, peanut butter tom treat. Yep. Just wanted to check in, let you guys know we're doing okay. This hopefully is going to perk me up, working on about three hours sleep last night. So we're going to go ahead and what do you think? Yeah, your favorite? Yeah, I my one two week got let myself have something sugary. She loves this. All right, looks like we're about ready to order, so I'll talk to you guys when I get back home. Check out Freddy's if you got one near you. All right, Tuber, so it's getting pretty late. Dad and I are finishing up the door. Dad mostly, but I helped a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We're putting the last of the molding on. You can see we had to put some nails in here. It's hard because we were missing the wood. You got to hit the wood around the door frame, and you really got to eyeball it well, or you're going to miss it. Like, see, I don't think that one know, that one didn't go in. So we kind of got to concentrate. But if you look at the uh, door, it actually looks pretty good. Excuse me, I'm going to slide by you, Dad. We haven't painted it yet. That's going to be like the last step. Go ahead and shut it so I could show them what it looks like outside. We did a whole bunch of caulking. Actually, I did caulking earlier kind of an okay job i don't really never really done caulking um this is all going to get painted again so even though it's a little um rough looking right now we'll go ahead and sand that down and paint that but for the most part the door is installed and then of course we have to re-cement 
down here where we took the old door out some of the, the uh, cement broke so we need to go ahead and fill that in but not too big of a deal the old door is sitting right there so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the vlog and i'll talk to you guys when i'm ready to show you today's garage sale haul all right tubers so back in my room with the last part of this multi-day vlog the garage sale haul. I'm going to try and make this quick because I am very, very tired. It's about quarter to six and haven't gotten too much sleep over the past day. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing I picked up is this H uh, HP Toshiba netbook. I even got the uh, manuals here. Only paid 10 bucks for it. I mean, it's nothing super special, but it's a NB250. It's a quick start guide. Uh, was that instruction manual for safety and comfort? And if I opened it up here, it's kind of a mess. Um, it's not brand new, but it's in really good shape. Uh, you can see you got the charger down there, power brick, whatever everybody likes to call it. Open this up. It is running um, Windows 7 starter, and it has some form of uh, Atom processor in it. Uh, so again, nothing super crazy high-end, but I could definitely find a buyer for this, somebody who wants just basic uh, internet surfing, or I might trade it away. You never know. Next, picked up this Edimax, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, wireless 802.11bgn 32-bit PCI adapter. So this fits into a good old 32-bit PCI slot. Uh, looks like it has 300 megabit throughput, WPS, all the goodies there, sports Windows 7, and gave a buck for that. So yeah, I could definitely put that in one of my computer builds. Next over here, have a Sony compact and slim noise canceling uh, headphones supposed to be in the box i paid three dollars for it you know what i actually better check i don't know if i even ever open this up let's see if these headphones are indeed in the box there's something in there whoop 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 oh yes they are uh they're not new i can tell you that they've definitely been used i can see the rubber surround is broken away a little bit um but they're still in decent shape, and uh, looks like they came with the uh, limited warranty and the owner's manual way back from 2012. Uh, some random empty bag, maybe like an adapter or something came in there at one point. Next, and I thought this was a pretty cool find, for $3 I picked up one of those old school Nintendo Bible games. This one is... Exodus. Now, interestingly, these were never licensed by Nintendo. They were made by a third-party um, company uh, called Colorful Dreams. So these are kind of iffy. They'll work in most NESs. I don't believe they will work in the retro duos, though. I remember having one of these, not this particular one, but another one like it made by this company, and I could never get it to work. You guys can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at least I never could get it to work. Next... Uh, picked up for three bucks, new unbox, a Logitech M325 limited edition mouse. I think this is the spray paint or the splash paint model, I think they called it. Uh, limited edition, never been opened, got the dongle in there. Uh, yeah, these are really good. What I'll do with these is I'll pair these with a laptop usually when I go to sell one. So it's good to have that for sure. A lot of people don't like those touch pads. Uh, pick these up for $1.50 each. These are Scott shipping tapes. So what is that? Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, about nine bucks for all that. So we got six of them right there. Not a bad deal. I definitely use those on a regular basis. Uh, next for a dollar, picked up a Bell Lumina 200 bike headlight, three LED headlight, flash, and standby mode. Uh, so this will, can basically go on your bicycle, or you can mount this on your helmet, I believe, as well. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, not sure what bike I'm going to put that on. Maybe, maybe this will go on the... Um, Cannondale that I got. We'll have to see. Now, <laughs> the next thing I got, I can't show you because dad is currently using it, but it's a Dr. Scholl's mini precision massager. Uh, paid $7 for this. Uh, brand new in box. As a matter of fact, I opened it so he could use it. 
If you look in there, I don't know if I left all the stuff in there. No, I, I emptied the box, but I can assure you this thing was brand new in box. And last but not least, we have a whole bunch of candles, some brand new and some not. Right here, go for left to right, we have the Yankee Candle Beach Walk. That one is brand new. We have the Yankee Candle Sage Citrus. This one's about halfway burnt. That's why that was only 25 cents. We have Yankee Candle Christmas Cookie. I absolutely love this. This one burnt slightly, and I think I gave, yep, 50 cents for that one. Then we have a brand new Yankee Candle 2011 Collector's Edition. Does this say what it actually is? Oh, look at this. It's from Williamsburg. Um soft blanket let me see what this smells like i'll put this up to my nose and tell you hmm yeah it does indeed smell like a soft newly washed blanket very very interesting never knew that was an actual scent next another yankee candle right here we have lavender fields and lavender fields let's see house warmer and this one has been used if i open it up which is very hard to do one-handed you can see it's been slightly burnt but it's still got a lot of life left in it gave a quarter for that one as well mm, that one's got a nice scent that reminds me of the lavender um laundry detergent that we get from um dollar tree I actually really like that scent and then I got these three right here. Uh, these two, I think, are the same. These are Home Interiors and Gifts Mulberry. Got two of those. And these are all brand new. This is Home Interiors Watermelon. I think I gave $2 a piece for these. As a matter of fact, I know I did. And last but not least, I have this Hazelnut Cream Mainstays, which those of you that are familiar with Mainstays, that's a Walmart brand. And is this one brand new? I almost don't want to open it because it looks like it's melted at one time. So I'm not going to do that on my bed. But if you look really close, you can see the wick is um, not not been burnt. So this is definitely brand new. And I gave $2 for that. Maybe I will try to open it up. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Wow, that was really tight. Good scent, like a ginger, almost a gingerbread scent to me. All right, tubers, that is it for the multi-day vlog, garage sale haul vlog, whatever you want to call this thing. I may get a chance to upload it tonight, but no promises. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.